Hello, this is Mighty Owl. I love birds. They're so fun and interesting to watch. Have you ever seen birds flying around your neighborhood? Will is watching birds. He's watching them fly and land high up on the electric lines above his head. Let's take a closer look. There are two bluebirds perched right now. Look, another bluebird joins them. How many bluebirds are there now? You might see this problem written out like this. It says, there are two bluebirds. One more bluebird joins them. How many bluebirds are there now? Well, this is an addition problem. And you may wonder how you know. One clue is the word more in the problem. That means that we have to add. You can also think about what happened in the problem. We started with two bluebirds and one joined. So the number of bluebirds got bigger. And that means we need to add. So we're adding two plus one. And we can write that like this. This equation reads two plus one equals something. The two is for the first two bluebirds. The plus means that we're adding, and the one is for the new bird that joined. And now we can add. We already have a picture showing all the birds. So we can count the birds to find out how many there are. One, two, three. There are now three blue birds sitting together. So two plus one equals three. Hey, great job. We just solved an addition word problem together. Oh, look up at this wire. There are already some birds sitting up there. I see three cardinals. Uh, cardinals, those are the red birds. They're awesome. And how many yellow goldfinches do you see? One, two. Two goldfinches. So, how many birds are there in all? Well, this problem is a little bit different. All the birds are already on the line. But this is still an addition problem. Here are some of the clues. The problem says, in all. Well, that's a clue that we're going to be adding. Another clue is the picture. We have some red and some yellow birds. And all of the birds together means putting the two numbers together. And that's adding. So let's write out our equation. We have three red birds plus two yellow birds. Well, we already have a picture, and that helps. We can count to find the total number of birds. That's how many birds there are in all. One, two, three, four, five. There are five birds in all. Three plus two equals five. And Will saw some other birds. He said there were five birds sitting on a line. Two more flew over. How many birds were there all together? Well, this is a word problem without any pictures. So we're going to have to use our mighty brains to figure this out. First, let's look for some clues in the words. Now, the words more and all together are in the problem. And these are clues that we are going to need to add. We could also draw our own picture to help us. Will said that there were five birds sitting on a line. So should we start by drawing five birds? I think that's a great idea. Let's do it. Then, two more flew over. So now we should draw two more birds next to the first five. Are there more or less birds now? Well, two birds joined. So there are more. We're going to need to add. And that means it's addition time. Let's use our picture to help with the equation. We know we're adding, so we can write a plus sign. First, we know that there are five birds, so we're going to write a five. Then, two more birds joined, so we're going to write a two on the other side of the plus sign. Now, we want to find out how many birds there are all together. So, we can write a box or a question mark here until we find the answer. Great job setting that up. And now comes the fun part. Let's add. Now, we already drew a picture of all the birds, so we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. 
There are seven birds on the line all together. Amazing. As Will was looking up at the birds, he also saw some kites flying way up high in the sky. Ooh, that's fun. How many kites do you see? There are four striped kites and five spotted kites. How many kites are there in all? Okay, so we don't have a picture for this problem either. But we can use the words and draw our own picture to solve it. First, let's look at the words. I see in all. And that's a clue that we need to add. Okay, now let's draw the picture. Will said he saw four striped kites. So let's draw four kites. Uh, they don't need to be perfect. This is just to help us add. Will also said he saw five dotted kites. Let's draw five more kites. Now it might be a lot to put dots on all of them, so you can just write dots above the kites. Now I see two groups of kites, and we're going to put them together into one big group. Oh yeah, that is definitely addition. Great. Now let's write our equation. We know we're adding, so we're going to put a plus sign. Now we also know that we have four striped kites, so we put a four to start. Next, we have five dotted kites, so we put a five after the plus sign. And finally, we want to find the sum or the total number of kites, and so we can write that like this. Great. Now, we just need to do the best part, adding. We can use the picture we already drew to help us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four plus five equals nine. Will saw nine kites all together. Oh, good job figuring that out. What a great job today solving addition word problems. First, we looked for clues to help us figure out if indeed we were adding. Mighty words like in all, more, and all together are our clues. Then, we drew a picture to show what's happening in the problem. We could also use blocks or other objects to represent each number in the problem. We asked, are there more things now? And that's how we knew we were adding. Finally, we used the pictures we drew to help us count up the total. Great job today! See you mighty soon.